The cord is a three-wire, 16-gauge cord. It includes the necessary connectors already attached and a new strain reliever. Power cords tend to receive lots of abuse. The cord can be cut, nicked, internally damaged, or have the prongs broken off. A damaged cord should be immediately replaced to avoid an electric shock. Replacing the cord is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cap from the motor. I'll also remove the wires from the switch. Now I can remove the cord from the router. First I'll remove the grounding wire. Next the two screws that secure the cord clamp. And now I need to cut away the connector that secures the white cord wire to one of the red motor wires. As I cut this crimping connector away, I want to lose as little of the wire length as I can. So I'll cut within the connector itself. There's a Ziploc tie that secures the wires. I'll cut that away. And now I can pull the cord away from the router. Now I can install the new cord. To install the cord, first I'll need to strip back the red wire from the router motor that we cut earlier. I'll strip this back about 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'll thread the black wire from the cord behind this metal brace. I'll go ahead and reinstall the ground wire with the screw. And I'll bring the white cord wire together with the red wire from the motor. I'll twist the wires together, trim them flush, and secure them with a new crimping cap. Now I'll place the strain reliever in the hollow within the casting and reinstall the cord clamp. As I install the cord clamp, I want to make sure that I have some of the outer insulation on the cord beneath the clamp. I have a new cable tie that I'll use to secure the black and red wires to the metal post. Now reconnect the wires to the switch. First the black wire, and then the red. And now I can reattach the cap. And I'll secure it with the screws.
And that's how easy it is to install a new cord in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.